friends, foes, anyone in between, my name is the good doctor, Dr. G.G. Froffman, and I'm here to host the very first week of Goofball Cup 5. I have to still set up, get everything ready for the Goofball but you already know the participants. You already know the order. That was all announced on the GBIWA Twitter account. And if you don't follow that, well, what are you doing? Uh, we gotta go to Battle Royal. We gotta go to time. Hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful, Greetings, GG Goose Gonzo Frogman. It is the boy Frogman. You know it. Uh, we are going to that outdoor ring, and we are going to have our senior official for this season, Lucha Steve. He's going to be on duty tonight. Oh, not Kenny Omega. He's not in this tournament. All right, so we got Steve Austin, The Rock. Who is hype about Champion Man Adam Page? Very exciting. Watching shit this last lovely night, goofy man. stream while wearing my new Luca mask. Cause I sure as penis am. AJ Lee's in this. Galaxy Heart. The man from space with the heart full of love. Cowboy shit hooray. Chris Hero's in this. Larry Winters, of course. Magnum TA, my boy. And, of course, the champion, Coconut Man. Coconut Man getting uh, the benefit of everything here. We are going with... I kind of want to, but... Go with seven minutes. Everyone's got to go for seven whole minutes. AJ Lee is the second participant, and that is how everything's supposed to go from there on out. So, friends, foes, anyone in between, let's see if we have a new Velma and Slugger champion. These are your participants. Oh, let me make sure that the rules are right. Um, over the top rope can be on. Just about wasn't. Uh, no rope break. Lumberjack off. DQ count off. Outside. Everyone draw a bussy. Um, we're going to have uh, the count out be an option though, just because that's funny. All right. Let's go. Emoji partying face. Emoji partying face indeed. This is your first official match of the goofball season, my friends. Allow us to talk. Fight. This is the ring I spent a little bit of extra time on. I wanted to make sure that it was here. Had all of our sponsors for the season. Waffle House, Sharing Arby, some Bellman, dressed Slugger, Canadian and the Goofball. Chips with Billy Ruckus. Seven minutes alone. AJ Lee, Steve Austin. This is the Strawberry Crusaders taking on Stiff Biscuit. My wife versus my best friend. What a lovely canvas. Why, thank you. This mat kinda clean. I, I try. I wanted it to look nice. Wanted to keep the... I wanted to keep it important. Just, just focus on what's special. Uh, this goofball cup. For all the other tournaments, there'll be, uh, bigger, more elaborate rings. But, uh, for the actual goofball cup... I wanted to keep it tight. I wanted you to know that it was Waffle House, it's Arby's, it's Green Velma and Slugger, great. and it's the Goofball Cup. Steve Austin almost put her out there. Oh, tried to get her out, but couldn't do it. Nice Hurricane Rana there from AJ Lee. We're approaching the last minute with this singles competition. Oh. 
Luca Rex sounds <laughs> like Eddie from Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> Damn. Too big a toke. It's the rock. It's the rock. Either one of these guys wins here tonight. They will be the champion. The main event will be a Velma and Slugger championship match. Ah, low blow there from Steve. Looper Working Rick together. Got the train mask on. Damn, what an insecure. Like to uh, see sorry, my boy. Shining Wizard. <gasps> okay, she fell through the middle. Working together, I think, trying to get that belt, but they can't me. work together long. Coconut man watching closely perched up in his tree. Oh, Steve Austin's out. It leaves The Rock, just The Rock, to try and make this main event a championship match. Nice leg twist there, dragon screw leg whip. Goodbye, sweet prince. Got another participant on the way, 20 seconds. Oof. Galaxy Heart, the boy from space! The heart full of love! Coming to kick some ass. It's just the Rock and Galaxy Heart now. Back to a singles match. Praying Rocky gets the 2001 k Rumble Run. Pummeling effort there from Galaxy Heart, putting him in a sharpshooter, showing him how it's Redemption done. Redemption time, baby. Let's go, GH. The man from outer space. Really trying to tap him out here. Rock having none of that work rate shit, brother. Only one count. Next participant will be in at 21 minutes. Two? Only two. No rope breaks in this match. Working the leg. Back and forth. The Rock can't take it. Nice. Beautiful. Bridging German suplex, but can't put him away yet. <gasps> the Rock nearly getting thrown out by Galaxy Heart there. Trying again. Back and forth. The Rock says no. Nice lariat there. Rock's really bringing it. <gasps> the Galaxy Buster! Two! Not this is to a put cool match. Rock. 30 cool seconds idea. till the next competitor's in. Here comes Chris Hero. Galaxy Buster. Oh, what a shot! Just about pinned the rock there. The goofball rumble. Beautiful gotch style pile drivers. CH versus GH. <gasps> the rock's out! It's just Galaxy Heart and Chris Hero now. And he just about took him out. It's just Hero here. Hero hey, has Chris, time. Hero doing good. Chris Hero might just take this belt. Plug. This is incredible domination by Chris Hero. We wait until 28. He has another three minutes to just wait. Should Chris Hero pick up this oh, damn. tonight? Watch this big boy stand there. He was going to defend the belt Look against Galaxy Heart. There. If Chris Hero wins, the belt is on the line against Galaxy Heart. Funky Friends versus Sensei Dils Dojo tonight.
If GH keeps taking these losses I don't know how much longer he'll have a heart full of love. Menacingly. You can hear the crowd turning on Chris Hero now. That's hilarious. He is jiggling. They are, uh, they are unhappy with, uh, with the domination. Howdy Jess, hope you have fun and here we have a good time. Here we go, last minute of waiting. Chris Hero going to be all rested up. This is going to be a one-on-one -on -one match entirely, starting out. Yes, Larry Chris Winters. Bald, folks. Larry Winters, Chris Hero. Can Larry Energy Winters broken defeat hard. the man Chris they Hero? They don't like his jiggle, man. 35 minutes is when Magnum TA will enter the match. And then, finally, 42 minutes, Coconut Man will defend Also, his make title. sure you say Bussy. Nice boot there from Hero. Let's fucking go, Big Larry. Got him in the rings of Saturn. Larry Winters really, really, really making a name for himself over uh, on Goof Brawl Island. And if you weren't watching all the Goof Brawls, you can go on to the YouTube account here. Remus, you can go into playlists. You can tonight. watch everything from every Goofball Cup, including this one, all put together, all in order. Chris Hero. Now he has time to rest while he waits for Magnum TA. Chris Hero and Galaxy Heart looking more and more to be a championship match by the minute. Thankfully PS4YT doesn't he have ads lol. Oh my goodness Chris. Chris Hero is not playing around tonight. Give this man left. a mic while we wait. We got the goose here, purring up a storm. Everyone say hi goose. Chris Hero yeah, absolutely off the shits right now. Can Magnum TA take this this incredible run away Chris from has Chris two Hero. signature match types confirmed. Let him cut a promo. Hey Goose. Trying to choke out Magnum TA early on. Chris Hero having incredible luck. Chris Hero, after falling in the first round of the Larry Winters Cup in uh, a barbed wire tournament for probably the first time in uh, in all of goofball history. Would Goose and Munchie be friends? Goose and Munchie would be best friends. When has Hero been such a heel? Uh, you are My Dilf's goodness. dojo. You have been a heel for a minute. You dick punching bastards. I would like a Munchie and Goose tag team. An undefeatable kitty tag team. Right away here, we're gonna have Coconut Man. Boot there from Hero. Two! Just about! Magnum TA having a rough go of it here. One, two, just about again. The nearest to falls. There goes Magnum. Here comes Coconut Man. Can he defend that title? Or will Chris Hero take it away from him? The heart of Magnum. Kick out there. Chris Hero's ready. Chris Hero wants this belt. M.O.G. Coconut, M.O.G. Coconut, M.O.G. Coconut, Coconut. Chris Hero saw the opportunity to win a championship presented right before him, and he was not about to back down. Coconut Man, though, not going to let him have it easy. Take down this coconut fool, Chris. This is intense, brother. Incredible roaring elbow, another elbow drop there. M.O.G. Coconut Dark Skin Tone. Yeah. 
What a power bomb! One, two, no, not enough to put away the coconut man. Rucker Gang and Sensei Dilf's Dojo, two, not enough. <gasps> Chris Hero! Chris Hero! Making. In After an incredible run in that tournament by Coconut Man, Chris Hero proves that he's just oh, shit. as dangerous as ever. Taking the Velma and Slugger Championship. Chris Wanty playing. Goddamn. So. Pour a coconut water out for a fallen king. Chris that, Hero. That was Chris something, Hero. Man. Chris Hero. What a run by Hero. Had The Rock and Steve Austin worked together? You have to think. Thank God Ruck lost at least one belt. No kidding. I realized it wasn't going to be a matter of uh, of if I could take a belt off of them. It was just which. And honestly, when Coconut Man got that last Rocky draw, two belts. I was pretty much... I had reserved myself to... Uh, this is over. Um, what bracket am I looking for here to start in? Because we're our first match tonight is Kota Ibushi taking on Larry Winters. That is the Strawberry Crusaders taking on Larry Winters. So, uh, without further ado, let's see it. Matchups tonight, Gonzo Club versus The Guys. Enchanter's Disciples versus Stiff Biscuit. Funky Friends versus Sensei Delfs Dojo. Lesbian Protectors taking on Rucker Gang. And the Strawberry Crusaders versus Larry Winters. Landmine Deathmatch, 30 minute time limit. DA's one of my boy, let's go. Kota Ibushi returning, uh, but for a different team. Interesting to see a former lesbian protector taking up the cause elsewhere. Larry Winter's really bringing it to him, though. Kota Ibushi's in the bombs. Larry Winters with the advantage. Larry has came a long way. Our OG job guy is now a four-man army. Can Kota Ibushi take out the king of jobs? Or can Larry Winters... Can he kick out? Just barely. Kota Ibushi with a beautiful half-and-half -half suplex. Kamagoye! The end is nigh! Incredible slam! That's how the Hulk won the other day! That was yesterday! Dear God, these days are so long! And another powerbomb, that's it! Kota Ibushi! Huge, incredible debut for the Strawberry Crusaders in their first ever official goofball match. What a return for Kota, goddamn. Andre the Giant will now take on Kurt Angle in the goofball division. This is the guys in the Gonzo Club going at it. M.O.G. Strawberry, M.O.G. Strawberry, M.O.G. Strawberry. Crazy return and crazy debut. Damn. Kurt Angle, the man of perks, against uh, a real dominant force last season in Andre the Giant. Nice 
Ice Slam there. Battle of Brothers, Battle of Goofball North. Nice shoulder break. Trying to bring home a win for the Gonzo Club. Nice shoulder breaker again. How much more can Kurt Angle take? Onslaught early, but you have to know the big man's knees are bad. Kurt Angle may have an advantage there. He can start wearing the big man down. Nice leg drop, though. Come on, Andre. Andre, two. Make sure you stay tuned all through the show because right before your final four main events tonight, there will be an announcement of the matchups for next week, which teams will be going head to head. So stay tuned until those main events. Because tonight we've got Kenta Kobashi taking on Stevie Richards. I Virgin just wrapped up watching Scott Andre Steiner. and Mary to cause holy balls. Bob Ross takes on CM Punk and Steve Austin takes on The Rock. We have a big night. Tombstone. Just about. Gonzo Club looking to take the advantage early. Not enough. Beautiful Tombstone. Oh, not enough. Come on. Spinning him around. Oh, what a clubbing blow. He's got him in the bear hug. Approaching the 10 minute mark, a third. Not enough. Kurt Angle going for those spears now, but you know when he misses them, it's really bad. He just can't pick up a win after, but he trips him up, but can't stay, can't keep him on the ground long. One, two, just not enough. Goose is purring into the microphone now, rubbing her head against it. She's loving this match. She loves you. Nice knee there from Andre. One, two. Just not enough. Beautiful headbutt from Andre. He a goose. Oh! Andre takes down Kurt. Hello, Goose. I hope you are well. Oh, she is very Send me well. She is very happy. She loves this goofball shit. Nice tombstone pile driver from Andre the Giant. Cocky pin, not enough. I feel like if he dropped him with that elbow drop off of that, it would have been over, but the cocky pin may have cost Andre, Giant, Andre the Giant the match. Andre T. Giant. He's got him in the bear hug. That's it. Andre the Giant picks up an important win for the Gonzo Club early on. One-nothing Gonzo Club. Next matchup. We do have another Strawberry Crusaders versus Larry Winters match. This is going to be Miles Morales taking on Larry Winters. Good job, Andre. Beautiful match there from Andre. Really proud of him. Miles Morales, Larry Winters. This is the debut for Miles Morales. Andre is on that redemption arc. Andre the Giant, after a, you're right, after a bad run with the the Kings and Kings of the Ring, and then higher than Kings, uh, to be able to come back with the ferocity and with the wins that he has. Um, I believe Andre is going to be a mainstay for at least a couple more goofball cups. 
Dragon Screw Leg Whip from Miles Morales. New Age Spider-Man. Nice jawbreaker there from Larry. Miles Winter. selection really is a shocker. Into the barbed wire. Incredible set of cool Nothing but chops. respect for my Spider-Man. Beautiful back suplex Rooting for there. Miles just because I like Miles. Oh, I thought he was actually going to tap him out there. Looking to go up to nothing. Larry Winter's not letting them take it easy, though. Beautiful brain buster, but Miles is up first. Larry Winters cannot capitalize. What's up, danger? MOG Spider. Miles the man. Nice super kick there. Call that a spider kick. No, he missed with that. Larry Winters finally catching his breath enough, but those Kobashi chops are going to take it right out of him. Series of elbows and a, and a slap, but no, Larry Miles Winters now Miles the spider confused. man. Break of the eyes. Beautiful German suplex from Miles Morales. Can Larry Winters capitalize here? Set of elbows, Miles, saying it's not over yet for him. Drop kick. Larry's up. He's got him in the airplane and Charlotte spin. Flair ever team up. Call them Charlotte S. Webb. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh shit. Beautiful suplex from Larry Winters. Back in that airplane spin. I became a new man for a moment. Look at that submission! Can't put him away. Miles Morales really showing off his whole move set here. Incredible debut. Another flurry of elbows from Larry Winters. Another one. He's catching his breath. Doing damage to the spider. Ten minutes gone. Third of the way through there allotted time. Another series of Kobashi strikes. Flurry of elbows from the man they call Larry Winters. Oh, the spider hack! Into the barbed wire again with Larry. Beautiful German from Larry now. Returning the favor. Another series of forearms into the corner. Beautiful German suplex. Keeps throwing him into the barbed wire. This has to be close for Miles Morales. Another spider kick. He's saying no, no. He wants the match to go on. He's got 30 minutes. He's going to use it. Some Kenny Omega shit. Nice spider kick there. He's making this debut and he's making all of it. Miles has a concussion and Larry's tired as FLOL. Nice punch there. Half their allotted time gone. Beautiful Canadian destroyer into a German suplex. And he goes and pin him. Frank the poison rod of what I don't even know. He's killing him. Spider on him. Fra Spider Steiner. Frank and Spider. Larry Winters could not commit to the running move. He got too tired. Larry Winters with the atomic drop. He's doing everything he can to stay in this. Love the Spider Steiner. Super kick there. Another atomic drop. Larry Winters doing everything he can, but you know it's in vain. Miles Morales. Man, Miles, MOG Larry face. Is that a Mars Bopis? 
One more is Bopus and a Money Goose! Is no match for the power of the spider. Just about 20 minutes gone now. How much more can Larry take? The Spider Destroyer, the Spider Kick! The Super Spider Kick! But a Brain Buster from Larry! 20 minutes gone! 30 minutes allotted! Hello, Mars Boppus. They say hello, Mars Boppus! They re both concussed and just forgot everything they were One, doing in two, the match. Three! Miles Morales! Yes, I did. Like the Spider Man. Uh, you haven't fought yet. You fight uh, after Chris Hero and Galaxy Heart fight for their belt? Chris Hero defends his brand new title right Banger here. ass match. Next. That was a great match. I can't believe that the game didn't give it more than that. MOG Strawberry. Chris Hero. Galaxy Art. Barn Burner Larry. Absolutely incredible match by Larry. I can't wait to see what Larry pulls out through the rest of the tournament. Galaxy and Heart, Galaxy Heart, token, Galaxy Heart, MOG Sparkling Heart, MOG Sparkling Heart, MOG Sparkling Heart. You can this hear gonna be a good Galaxy one. Galaxy Heart chants. Emoji Sparkling Heart. <laughs> Sensei Dos Dojo going head to head with the funky friends. Who can pull out the advantage early on? Nice Kamagoye from Chris. Chris Hero repping Waffle House colors on his gear. The Waffle Keystones House of man. two original teams here. It's a Luna. A Luna. Couple uppercuts there. Looks like we've also got the guy hanging around. Currently down zero. Not one. just one of the most important matches of the night, but of GBC5. Hello, Luna. Incredible first episode here. Don't forget your main events tonight. Kenta Kobashi takes on Stevie Richards. The Virgin Mary defends her title against Scott Steiner of the Lesbian Protectors. Bob Ross faces CM Punk and Steve Austin takes this on This match the determines more than y'all know. That's a incredible statement. Good to know. Goofball Cup has great rim Chris in yellow now. That is what the jiggling in the goofball was. He was just shitting himself causing him to change trunks. He was out there a long time. But you know this Chris Hero can go, and you know he can win important matches, but so can the man from space with the heart full of love, Galaxy Heart. The Goof Bowl. Emoji Waffle. Emoji House. Oh! Not enough! The Robot Lady Cherry on top my statement, huh? Pulling for GH. <coughs> oh, one, two. Not enough. Oh, one, two, no, no, not even two. Chris Hero is not playing. This might be Chris Hero's run, man. <gasps> but the Tiger Driver 91! Oh, that's a two count there. One, two. Kicking out with all the love in his heart. Hit him with the muscle buster. Rooting for one, the man from two. space. Not enough. The hero versus the heart. Missing with that elbow. Another muscle buster. One, two. Jah. Muscle Let's buster. Off 
the ropes. He's got Ken him in that got his first win of the season. GH looking to get a big first win of the season. His first win, his first championship of the season. No matter what happens here, Chris Hero's incredible showing in that goofball uh, is going to be something that we watch. Uh, and reference. Oh no! Three! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He shows the <laughs> Chris Hero takes the win for Sensei Del Stojo. Come on. What an incredible match. <laughs> Yo. Jesus Christ. MOG broken heart, MOG black heart. That was we tight. Another championship match what a match. Next. Would you believe that? It cannot keep happening. MOG crying loudly. MOG crying loudly. Ba God. Another championship match here. Uh, Dusty Rhodes defending against Kyrie Sane. Every other championship match from here on out tonight, you know that I don't know how much more GH can centers. take. Dusty Rhodes prepared for deathmatch season. I'm um, Kerry Sane, MOG pleading face, MOG beating hard. of elbows there to Dusty. Rucker Gang, of course, with the clean sweep of titles last night. Four belts all ended up in the house of the Rucker Gang. And oh, and Dusty's dream. in the bombs early. They, the Ruckers did bring the Ruckus, but the Ruckus is another person. My boy Billy Ruckus. Got that knee. You think you just gone elbowed walk the American dream? This has been a good back and forth here early on, just about five minutes gone. A bloody war. Kyrie, of course, a veteran of the goofball cup. She knows what to expect. Five minutes gone. This is Dusty Rhodes' debut. Nice series of punches there. Elbow drop from Dusty. That's a two. Only a two. Kyrie saying you done did it now, babe. Would you believe that we've now had the, uh, we've now completed the kitty trifecta and Cheech is now here? Hello, Cheech and Eve. Dusty Rhodes dancing for Cheech. Babe. Cheech. Be a bet. Hey, Cheech. Dusty Rhodes. Oh, he's got her in the sleep roll. Now oh, can't pull home the win yet. Babe. Title defense on the card. This coconut man could not hold on to his title. One, two, just about. Off the ropes. Nice lariat there from Dusty. And a nice elbow. Got her in the spinning toe hold. Not enough. Bad, bad. Into the bombs. Oh, damn. Destino! Not enough! Ten minutes gone. Pile driver there. One, two, three. Dusty Rhodes. He defends his team okay. as well. Incredible matchup there. Great Put the Amy Weekend win, Dusty Rhodes, Rose, baby. Even if she came up short.
fucking division. Rocky two there. belts. What the fuck? That was in the Arby's division. Carby's. Arby's. Kyrie Sane. Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes retains the Arby's championship. All right, our next matchup is the Incredible Hulk taking on Sweet Tooth. Uh, Hulk, of course, replacing got three the man belts. himself on his team. Uh, Billy Ruckus getting bumped off his own team for the Hulk. And if you didn't know that, you better stay tuned to Goof Brawl Island. You never know what's going to happen on Goof Brawl Island. Sweet Tooth throwing punches early on. Just because I am an enchanter doesn't mean I automatically know how to count. Take down there. I flipped the Hulk's nipple yesterday. But that's not important. Moonsaw. Sweet tooth. Marks because Moonsaw. look at my boy. Nice choke there. Nice power slam, but the Hulk's up too quick. I, I, I expect this match to go longer. Than Get up in the ass, Hulk. Pummeling effort there from Sweet Tooth. Chanter's Disciples. Stiff Biscuit. Oh, damn. Not looking good for the Hulk. like the uh, most surprising drop in the entire goofball cup uh, offseason between GBC 4 and now was uh, Thanos. Thanos and Umaga. Brock Lesnar as well. We had a lot of changes in the team. Man. Come on sweet tooth, hit him with your ice cream truck with guns on it. Hit him with it. Dude. Series of power bombs into the DVD. Sweet Tooth trying to kill the Incredible Hulk. Nice pedigree. Look at him go. Beautiful choke slam. Not enough to put away the Hulk though. A definitive two. The Hulk's got a pin now. Only one. Sweet Tooth has not taken enough damage. Incredible Hulk. What a power bomb! Two into the DVD again. One, two. Not enough. Incredible Hulk with the suplex there. Another series of power bombs and a DVD again. Pulling him away from the ropes. One, two. The Incredible Hulk can take more than that. Does he know any more moves than this? He's just trying to kill him, but he's he's tired himself out now. He's gone to the well one too many times. The Incredible Hulk seeing an opening now. Larry it there from Sweet Tooth, though. Stopping the momentum of the Jolly Green Giant. Sweet Tooth says this shit's over. The Beautiful Incredible Hulk there. taking an incredible ass whooping. Another series of power bombs and a DVD. Can this be enough? A moonsault pin! Take him to Clown Town. Not enough to put away the Incredible Hulk. Rock bottom! Rock bottom! Not enough! Hulk's got more! Taking him to the Waffle House. A choke slam of his own! Throwing him on his face! Incredible slam! 
This green ass boy resilient as all hell. Goddamn. Cutter! Cutter! 15 minutes gone! I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Come on, sweet tooth, give us a sweet pin. The Hulk maker, man. How much more can this muscular booger take? Another series of power bombs. The DVD. One, two. The Incredible Hulk. Staying in this four stiff biscuit. Oh my God, he's in the bombs. A starter. Why take time to pose? You had him beat a Do choke I slam. say this match is incredible? Oh, not enough. I swear, too much time between moves. They collide, approaching 20 minutes, just as I predicted. But he says not much longer. Oh, and we'll push him into the bottom. Taking time to taunt instead of breathe. Have to question that strategy. 21 minutes. Nine minutes till bell. Lariat there from Sweet Tooth. Reversal. Block from the Incredible Hulk. Getting incredibly tight, except here! One! Oh, come on, pin him! It's just leg kicks instead of. Oh, the Tiger Face Buster! The Incredible Hulk! Hope can take Sweet another two. power bomb. Joke slam from Sweet Tooth! Spin out power bomb burning hammer kind of thing! But he's in the ropes! Another arrow flows into the bombs! 24 minutes gone, 6 minutes till bell. Power bombs! And a DVD from the hall! One, two, three! <laughs> the hall does the move once and takes out Sweet Tooth. Stiff Biscuit up one nothing. Well, goddamn. Oh, well, man. Well, damn. That was crazy. That is so Good far match. match of the night. Just so you know. Um, meat versus meat. Oh. Can't wait to find a tournament to run that one back at. We've got another LP taking on Wrecker Yang. Lesbian protectors. Candice LeRae takes on Stitch. This is again, of course, a championship match. Hulk really pulled the Uno reverse card. Now, you might think, why so many championships early on? Again, the main events tonight, Kenta Kobashi takes on Stevie Richards, Virgin Mary defends her championship, the Goofball Championship, against the lesbian protector Scott Steiner, Bob Ross of the Funky Friends takes on Sensei Dilk's Dojo, last minute edition, CM Punk, and Steve Austin Hope flat takes out on disrespected the Sweet Tooth. Candice LeRae takes on a little blue alien here. Let's see how she does. Come nice on, bulldog blue boy. there. Nice elbow. Can Rucker Gang continue their run of dominance and go up 2 nothing over Lesbian Protectors or can Lesbian Protectors I tie like the score I think here? it was the difference in pins but that is just the Wounded Pride talking rule. Leg drop there from Stitch. Nice Stitch Kunrana! The Hawaii Kunrana! 
nice suplex to Candice Lee Ray. Slap from Stitch. Funky Blue Alien with a pin early on, only a one count though. Five minutes in. The Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride. Fuck yes. Taking her for it! Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride. Slides underneath, avoiding that. Miss there. Stalemate sequence. Suplex there. Jawbreaker from Candice LeRae. No count. Stitch, resilient as hell. Keeping that belt. Trying to hold on to that Love this blue Waffle guy. House Championship. Stitch is proud to be the champion of the Waffle House. Come on, Stitch, make her surf till the sun sets beyond the horizon. Stitch with human proportion legs can't hurt you. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He can hurt you, and he can hurt you good. Trey, please, laughing. Laughing. Waffle House Championship. On the line with regular leg proportion skid. No. You were funnier than I was. You weren't. Man proportion stitch. With the little stitch head. Cannon will hurt you. And he wants to keep that Waffle House championship. Candice LeRae wants to take it. Who will defend it next week? Rucker Gang or Lesbian Protectors? Rucker Gang holding on to one of their belts already. Sensei Dolph's dojo holds on to the other. Brew this ain't stitch, this is staple. <laughs> I can't even be funny, I'm laughing so hard. Incredible thing. Damn! Using the weapons of mass destruction. Only a one count. Stitch resilient as hell. DDT. Most powerful move in pro wrestling. You're not in space, apparently. Stitch doing a little airplane. Signaling in for the Hawaiian roller coaster ride, but a DDT from Candace. Only two. Fifteen minutes gone now. Oh, what a drop kick. Damn, what a power bomb. Stitch bomb, not enough. Damn, the Hawaii slam. Missed with that kick. Damn, up in the air, man. This is not looking good for Candice LeRae. And the high angle slam. The alien slam. But the tornado spin around DDT. One float over DDT, my bad. Near fall for Candice LeRae. Nearly took away that belt. She runs in to the barbed wire. They're up at the same time, but Candice needs to catch her breath. Another alien slam, but it's into the bombs this time. Nearly 20 minutes gone. Another Hawaii slam. Stitch looks prepared. Leg drop. Oh, the Hawaiian roller coaster ride! They call him Experiment 626 because that's how many ass whippings he'll hand out. Candace LeRae barely stays alive there. Alien slam! One, two, three. Stitch retains. Rucker Gang secures two championships. And lesbian protectors go down 0 and 2. Next matchup is the second match for Gonzo Club. Probably guys... will catch heat here. I, Sensei Dilf, have never watched Lilo and Stitch. Fuck you! Yeah, that's Stitch. the first movie I ever saw in theaters ever in my whole life. Get watching. After the Goofball Cup, of course. We love you, Sensei Dilf. Magnum TA takes on Green Kane. 
Lilo and Stitch is my second favorite Disney movie. Fuck Dilf. Dilf changed that. Fuck Dilf. An early tombstone pile driver right on the goof spot. Green Which is Kane, my literal favorite animated thing. Hanging choke from Green Cane. Back suplex from Magnum. Stalling suplex. The guys really need to even this, oh, this yes, game Green up. Green Cane. Rucker Gang up 2-0 over the Lesbian Protectors. Strawberry Crusaders up 2-0 over Larry Winters. Next match, Sensei Dilf's Dojo versus the Funky Friends. Kangaroo versus... Green Chuck King is my least favorite animated thing. Let's transfer the heat in just got for not watching Stitch to everyone saying fuck Green King. No! Green do King, M.O.G. nauseated face, M.O.G. face vomiting. No! You gotta love Green King. Who doesn't love Green King? Forgot how much I hated Green Cane while I was in BMT. Booger Green. Into the barbed wire. Green Cane and Magnum TA. Green Cane's in the bombs. Magnum TA looking to take this win. Looking for a 2-0 run so far for the Gonzo Club. TA 2 nothing. either win or draw. Green Cane reminds me of Creed. That's the rudest thing Bye. you can say. Green cane is moldy and stagnant. He How likely dare. is also questionably wet for some reason. Rude. But I have to agree because Magnum TA is going to win this match. Gonzo Club 2000 member Magnum TA. Green With the beautiful Belly Belly crayons. 1, 2, no, not enough to put away Green Cane, but Green Green... Holy shit, that one is, though. KO victory for I Magnum saw it firsthand. TA. 2-0 Gonzo Club. Sensei Dilf's Dojo. One nothing over the a loss for Green King is a win for the world. Galaxy Heart, a main event caliber match that we had early on. Kangaroo will now take on Chuck Norris. Why a why fuck Green King? Bot Street, it's Magnum T A. Kangaroo, Chuck Norris. Can Funky Friends tie it up? They've really got it. To fall behind 2 nothing would be uh, detrimental for the Funky Friends early on. Vice Ver uh, alternatively, on, though, bring the uh, heat. Sensei Dilf's Dojo really would love to go up 2 nothing. To guarantee at least that draw is a big deal, especially in Goofball Cup. Poppin' and boppin'. This kangaroo ain't stoppin'. That's good. Poppin' and boppin'. Nice punch there from Chuck Norris. It's just gonna be a straight up fight. Barbed wire around. Chuck Norris trying to prove how fucking tough he is by beating the ass of a kangaroo. Kangaroo gets the upper hand on that exchange, though. Series of kicks. Oh, the roll-up pin, but he's in the ropes. Insert Chuck Norris joke here. Nice punch there from Norris. Into the barbed wire with him. Doesn't cut him open, that bandana keeps him safe. Only pussies hit kangaroos. Mr. That kick. A couple punches there. Nice submission, the torture crab. Nice elbow. A couple punches to the top of the head of the kangaroo. 
Nice torture crab again. This series of submissions looking to tie up the score. Spinning him, but I think, yeah, he's in the ropes. That'll get him free. Nice takedown there from Chuck Norris. Now letting the kangaroo take over. Got him in that front face lock again. Flurry of punches. Chuck Norris resorting to the chair, swinging. Flurry of headbutts to the kangaroo. Takedown. Kangaroo's taking a beating now, a low blow. Barbed wire bat, missed with that. Kangaroo still the just The didn't punches. let me say Kangaroo Jack is a bad movie. Missed with that kick. Nice knee there. Beautiful combination from Chuck Norris. 10 minutes gone. 30 minute time limit. Nice punch there. Could have knocked him out. Goes, shows off to the crowd, but he gets hit with the kangaroo dog. Nice kangaroo dog. What did why all think of the classic 17 star match between Inner Circle versus MMA Dude S and Men of the Year? I don't want to talk about it. Don't talk about anything so negative in the goofball chat. That was awful and unfun to watch. Terrible pacing, terrible placement on the card. It was a fucking main event for a TV show. Fuck the match. Here we are, Chuck Norris takes on the kangaroo. Better shit than that. Suck shit, Chris Jericho. Two, not enough. There's a reason Chris Jericho's not here. Nice kick there. The kangaroo's really taking it to Chuck Norris. Front face lock. He's got him in that torture crab. No, I thought he was going to be able to tap out the kangaroo. Tombstone! 5v5 was a key. Anyone else excited for Jay Lethal? Nope. Humbling effort. Chuck Norris. Oh, beautiful tombstone. The kangaroo's got this shit. In the bouncing kangaroo and in here to say I love to hop, hop, hop all day. Another series of kawada kicks. This kangaroo's brutal. Oh, Chuck Norris ties Hope it did up. Did you really it's look one. up the kangaroo song lyrics? Kangaroo song. Kangaroo song. Kangaroo song. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. I knew oh, them by man, heart, bitch. On Larry Winters, we have our third Strawberry Crusaders match. Their last match tonight will be AJ Lee taking on Larry Winters. That is the last match before your main events tonight. After this, we've got Fred Durst taking on Jeff Jarrett. Coconut Man taking on Kenny Omega. Mike Awesome taking on Mitsuharu Misawa. What Tom the hell Fry was that? Sector. Mike Rotunda takes on Akira Hokuto. AJ Lee takes on Larry Winters. And your main events, of course. Kenta Kobashi versus Stevie Richards, the champion. Virgin Mary defends against Scott Steiner, Bob Ross versus CM Punk, and Steve Austin versus The Rock. This Kool-Aid man scares me a little lot. Good. That's, that's part of the intimidation factor of the Kool-Aid man. I tease the K-O-O-L aid man, fear him. Got him in the Kool-Aid clutch. Oh shit! This is a brutal Kool-Aid man! Got him in the Kool-Aid hug! I think we all know that the S and K-O-O-L aid that monster is filled with. He nice. got that Mike Wazowski energy. 
Man, I almost thought about putting him on my team after seeing the crazy shit he was doing. He was weird. I did not Fun like him. Fun question for everyone. Is the Kool-Aid man the pitcher or the liquid? K-O-O-L-A-D. Yes. More like lame. It's blood. Are you your blood? Or are you your Distry, bones? are you your skeleton or your blood? There, see? Got two people. I didn't even read it. You sweeten your K-O-O-L-A with sugar. This K-O-O-L-A man is sweetened with Vader. Yes. <sighs> sweetened with hate. Damn, Distry what a pin Distry. combination from Larry, but he's in But he is also bad. probably Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid man. But Larry Winters, the resilience of Larry... He's sleeping. Distry is Kool-Aid man confirmed. He's sleeping. Not clickbait. 3-0 for the Strawberry Crusaders. Stiff Biscuit. Takes on Enchanter's Disciples. Vader in a pitcher, God help us. Incredible Hulk pulling out the win over Sweet Tooth earlier. Holy fuck. And Jeff Jarrett tie it up against Fred Durst. Gave him diabetes and put him in a coma. All I can say is I've never seen Distri and Kool-Aid Man in the same place at the same time. I'll write this second. Eyes of Fred Durst. The icon of stiff business. Fun fact, Larry Winters is a diabetic, so that was a rough matchup. Chocolate Starfish. That was an incredible back and forth of two messages. Power bomb from Jeff Jarrett. Nice neck breaker. Fuck you, Remus. You ain't ready for the nookie. Only one. Come on, Double J. Yeah. Fred Durst is ready for this shit. It's my world. Slam from Durst. Swing How to make dead. robots say yeah like Fred Durst. Yeah? Gotta find it. You gotta find the right spelling. Only yeah. one count. Fred Durst is in this. He's in the bombs now. I've heard the bot speak so much tonight it's the voice I hear when I think now. Good. This is the only night I will not be rooting for Jeff Jarrett. You yeah. never root for Jeff Jarrett. Got him in the sleeper. Fred Durst looking to go up 2 nothing over the the Enchanter's Disciples. Can Remus tie it up? Funky Friends did it. And remember, they are your main event tonight, Steve Austin and The Rock. Yee. Oh, beautiful suplex there. Yeah? Say that, yeah. Next match, of course, Coconut Man versus Kenny Omega. I will be taking a brief break during that match to uh, my way versus my world. Grab pizza and drink. Fred Durst, Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stiff biscuit. Giving him the weight of the world sins. Oh my fucking god, help, please laughing. Nice elbow there. Got him in the figure four. He's hitting him with the weight of the world's sins, but he's got him in the ropes. Fred Durst won't take that. Jeff Jarrett's in the bombs now.
swinging that glass. Fred Durst signaling for the end, but he gets slammed. Finger four in the middle of the ring, and that's it. Jeff Jarrett picks up the win. That is a tough. 1-1. One, one. Stiff Biscuit. Enchanter's Disciple. Rucker Gang My is world. currently up 2-0 over the Lesbian Protectors. Next match, Coconut Man versus Kenny Omega will decide whether or not the Rucker Gang can pull out the win entirely. Or, if there's still a chance, still a chance for the Lesbian Protectors to tie. I will be right back. We were Alu. You can take that cookie and stick it up your yeah yeah remus. Right. Coconut soldier. Coconut man, yeah. Frog is gone, it's both flex time, say the forbidden. P-knife, P-knife, P-knife. I hit a bow flex under the ring before the show frog doesn't know everyone hush. Dogs in enclosed pool area but don't tell frogmen. Do I all think a tag team consisting of Lito and Ricky Dozen would work out? I was gonna make Brock and Ricky a team at one point because piss. I ate Frogman's last creamsicle here, it was an accident, don't tell. Well, I learned something about Leaf that I didn't he know. P. Don't worry, Frogman, I have creamsicle-flavored energy drinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get his ass. That sounds good. Come on, Coconut Man. Yes! <laughs> the more you learn, Dilf. You have to think if he had done the one-winged angel there, he would have won. Okay, has back. Oh no! Dude, wait, those sound amazing. What are you an Oggy? Hello, frog. Missed with the knee. Oh, but he didn't miss it that one. Or that one. Or that deadlift German. The coconut man is not out of this. Can you make a preparing? But coconut man, his head's too hard. Creamsicle flavored rain. It keeps me alive. Over. 
One, two. Coconut Man just about took the win. Fuck your be trick, Kenny, you do this. Coconut Man says no. MOG Coconut, MOG Palm Tree, MOG Coconut. Oh, this has slapped to be honest. Incredible match from what I've seen. his championship over Kenny Omega. That's 3 nothing for the record game. Yeah, Coconut. Coconut. That means Scott Steiner is the lesbian protector's last hope to pull out a win tonight. Right now, Mike Awesome going up against Mitsuharu Misawa. This is a tiebreaker match. Stiff Biscuit, Enchanter's Disciples. Sleeper control too much for what? Kenneth. This is a hoss fight. Come on, Misawa. It's in the Arby's division. Cause there's meat here. Come on, Mikey. Nice back suplex there. Mitsuharu Misawa. No, not enough. Chop there from Awesome. Tiger Bomb! I like right, Mike's war paint. Gladiator baby. Mike Awesome, really bringing it here. Only one count there. Misawa bringing it to Mike Awesome. Incredible slam, but again, only one. How many back. Waffle House waffles could y'all eat in one go? This one been cool so far. Pancakes better so zero waffles. Hey, hey. I could maybe do two waffles. Luna's mad about how this match is going for Mike Dawson. Are the waffles appropriately buttered and syruped? Only one. Nice lariat there from Masawa. Flurry of elbows. Awesome bomb. Pile driver. Give me some blueberry syrup and I'm putting away at least five waffles. Yes. Also, I didn't like how it said waffles. I meant to add the L there. Another awesome bomb. Into the bombs. For real. Third 
with their allotted time run now. Beautiful flurry of elbows. Mike Awesome with the boot. He's hyping up. Elbow. I thought Watts was kinda cute. Anyway, three waffles at least. Beautiful slam. Makes you own the sour. Beautiful Lariat. Returning the favor from earlier. Two. Not enough to put away Mike Austin. One and all the mom! Two! No! I thought that was it. The Chandra's Disciples nearly took the win. Nearly took advantage, sorry. Three or four waffles I can maybe put away. Beautiful series of elbows. Fifteen minutes gone. After a lot of time. God, this fucks. Beautiful Emerald Flosion. One, two... Oh, I thought he was in the ropes, and then I thought it was over. Both men into the bar. I could maybe do more than two. But I like having other the stuff with the breakfast, no, so no. it depends. Also, this has been my match of the night. I'm going to keep that in mind. Mine is still incredible. Hulk is sweet, too. Did he miss that button? Oh shit, he went too far. Just about 20 minutes gone. Both team workers matches coincidence, I think not. God damn what a suplex. Jesus fucking ball hairs, what a German. Stiff. Biscuit. Two to one. Up next, another tiebreaker match: Don Fry versus Sector. Beautiful finish. What a match. Don Fry and Sector ready to go right there. Who will take advantage Why of is the biscuit stiff? Dojo? Has it been sitting out overnight? Yes, let's go. I was scared shitless. Thank you, based emerald flow, bro. Don, 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 don. It is dawn time. Don Fry, another last minute addition. Sector, courtesy of Ruckus Laboratories. It's stiff because it is flexing dill. Sector nice the Robo Man. Dawn time. Oh damn. Take down from Don Fry. Beautiful sequence here. Front face left. Match from the island right here, baby. This gonna get plum nasty. This is an island rematch. Outside of the octagon, how will it go? The dodecahedron. My bad. That's a different thing, I think, but I don't care. The gonzo gone. Nice front face lock again. Oh, damn! What those robo punches just punched Don Fry out the ring, but he just barely missed those bombs. Could have done more damage, but didn't. Back in that front face lock, trying to pop the robot's head off. Trying to punch it off now. Putting dents in his metal armor. With his fists of steel. Incredible flurry from this robot master. One. Damn, I thought that might have been it for Don Fry. Who's going to take advantage? Oh, that teleporting stomp. That could be it. No, it's not. Only two. Another 
couple punches there. John Fry doing everything he can. Eats those punches there. Doesn't fall out of the ring. Nearly did, though. He's ready. Yeah, take down there from Don Fry. Brings him to the good What is spot, Sector S favorite ring. song? Nice reversal there. Rocket Man. Beautiful song. Punch, punch, punch. Don Fry. Drawing blood from the robot, I do believe. Nope. Oh. The blood is coming all from Don Fry. Another stomp. Sector could be taking home the win. Not yet. Of course, Sensei Del, Sto Sensei Del Stojo getting their win with Chris Hero going over Galaxy Heart in their championship match. And then the, uh, the Funky Friends getting their win back with Chuck Norris going over the Kangaroo. One, two. Oh, I thought that Sekro might have had that there. Mortal Kombat legend. Another teleporting stomp. Could that be it? No, Don Fry survives. Both into the barbed wire. Stomp there from Sector. Another teleporting stomp. Two, three. That's it for Don Fry. Sensei Dil Stojo takes advantage. I need him to do the thing. Next up, with uh, with advantage currently going to the Gonzo Club, we've got Mike Rotunda going head to head with Akira Hokuto. Funky friend are in a funk. Well, that wasn't the thing. But I will still accept it. Pain. Sector S possibly the dojo S new ace. Two more matches before we get into our final four main events. I don't know if Sector can surpass Hero to be honest. Second last battle of the, the siblings here, of course. Kenta Kobashi and Stevie Richards, your first main event tonight, will close out this matchup. Rucker Gang faces the Lesbian Protectors. Virgin Mary defends her goofball championship against Scott Steiner. Bob Ross of the Funky Friends will face Sensei Dils Dojo to decide whether or not it's a tie or whether it's a, a win for Sensei Dils Dojo. And finally, this Mike Rotunda looks like Razor Ramon wearing the Australian flag like a diaper. Steve Austin. Can he bring the win home for Stiff Biscuit? Or can The Rock make sure that he ties it up in the very last match of the night? Stick around. Lots of questions still to be answered. After this, AJ Lee takes on Larry Winters in their final matchup of the night. Strawberry Crusaders looking to take a clean They make Lola the Bunny flavored pre workout now. I mean, Space Jam flavored. Binks. Don't. Not even. Oh god, I want to put Binks in the next goofball. I was gonna make Binks. Well, floating head. Suplex out of the ring, Akira Hokuto. Trying to bring it home for the Gonzo Club. Trying to make it 3-0. Slam there from Mike Rotunda. Only a one count. Kira Hokuto staying in this. Got him in that submission now. Brutal submission. Drop toe hold there from Rotunda. Missed with that drop kick. Kira Hokuto taking advantage now. 
Got him in that submission. Could that be it for Mike Rotunda? Not quite as we approach 10 minutes. Backbreaker right in the center of the ring. Right near the center of the ring, my bad. Was it a Waffle House cross section? Beautiful Dr. Bomb, too! Not enough. The Dangerous Bomb couldn't put him away. That was a beautiful brain buster there. Nice elbow from Hokuto. Another Dangerous Queen Bomb, too! Not enough. And a beautiful brain buster, one, two. Oh, Mike Rotunda staying in this. But how much more can he take? Dirt. Me there from Rotunda. Kill his ass, Hokuto. Oh, 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 oh. Akira Hokuto hooking up, but the drop kick from Rotunda. Drop to hole from Hokuto. Rolls him up. Oh, I thought that was it. Just two. Mike Rotunda, shoulder block. Drop to hold there. Hokuto getting pumped up again. Rolls him up. Oh, he's in the rope still. Series of European uppercuts. Mike Rotunda. DDT. The most powerful move in professional wrestling. Wow, ah, brain Mike bust. Low, 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 One, two. No, not enough. Pinfall? No. Nice punch there from Hokuto. Could that be it? One, two. Oh, I could have swore. Full into the barbed wire. Spot we've seen numerous times tonight. And another brain buster. Another brain buster. Two. Oh, Mike Rotunda proceeds. Dangerous Queen versus Dr. Sleepy. That airplane spin. Hokuto's dizzy now. Taking a nap on the mat. Both up at the same time. Knee stomp. Take down there. Up the ropes. And Hokuto taken down with the elbow. Got him in that submission hold again. And that's it. Akira Hokuto secures the victory for the Gonzo Club. Huge 3-0 advantage. Can they take the clean sweep? We're going to see. The guys... Not looking good in the first night of Goofball Cup 5. Dangerous Queen. AJ Lee takes on Larry Winters now. The last of the Strawberry Crusaders debut matchups. And right now, as we go into our main events after this, I will announce that Gonzo Club will take on the Strawberry Crusaders next week. Stiff Biscuit will take on their dreaded enemy, the guys. Sensei Delts Dojo will take on their friend Enchanter's Disciples. The Funky Friends will face the Rucker Gang. And the Lesbian Protectors will face Larry Winters. Come Be on, here full sweet next baby. Week. Stay tuned on Twitter for times, days, and everything. We could even run twice next week. Who knows? This is Goofball Cup. Yes, I was gonna call the guys out. You better cut a promo then. Now I don't Typed have out to. or whatever, whatever you want to do. You better tell them, fuck them. Tell them why, fuck them. I'll give you all your matchups. I'll type it out tonight. We'll start going. I'm coming for you, the guy. Everything. We gonna boogie next week, Distri. Oh, damn. Rest down. AJ Lee taking out Larry Winters. Bulldog there from AJ Lee. This is a good scouting matchup for me as the Gonzo Club taking on AJ Lee next week. Prepare for Roots of Jeff, Jared, and Bui Wu S. Magnum TA and AJ Lee going head to head. Magnum TA, of course, with that impressive KO victory over Green Kane. Among other things. AJ Lee trying to take out Mr. Larry Winters. One of the icons of the Blue Fall Cup. Nearly did it there. Nearly successful very early on. Beautiful Enziguri. 
Got him in that submission hold. Could that be it for Larry Everyone Richards? looking forward to that week off when it's time to fight Larry. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful Shining Wizard. Beautiful move, slice bread number two. Oh, but an atomic drop from Larry Winters while he catches his breath. AJ Lee scolds him for just standing there catching his breath when he could have capitalized. Beautiful takedown. AJ Lee with a beautiful Kunrana. Nerdy Kunrana. Beautiful submission hold and that's gonna be it. AJ Lee takes home the clean sweep for the Strawberry Crusaders, 4 and 0 oh, over Larry Winters. Impressive debut from AJ Lee, from Miles Morales, from Kota Ibushi, and from the yes. Kool-Aid Man. Impressive, incredible. Slapped on the Black Widow. Great, great stuff. Into our very main events here. Thank you so much. For being along, of course, Gonzo Club takes on Strawberry Crusaders next week. Stiff Biscuit takes on The Guys. Sensei Dilf's Dojo versus Enchanter's Disciples. Funky Friends versus Rucker Gang. Larry Funky Winters Friends need another Lesbian win, please. Jesus, Protect help us out. Here we go. Last four matches. Gonzo Club looks to take the 4-0 sweep. Guys, hope to get one victory tonight. Pull out a crucial five points. Stevie Richards has a one-eyed pet cat. So I want to root for him. Every fucking time Stevie Richards is out, somebody says something weird about him. Like he sounds like cigarettes in a Jack Daniels bottle and now he's got a one-eyed cat. If you have any other facts, save them for the next time that Stevie Richards is in the ring. Surprise me every time. If you can make it a gimmick, do it. Even lie to me, I don't care. I'll believe you, Stevie Richards. Fuck do I care. He's killing the shit out of Kenta Kobashi right now. Threw him into the bombs because he knows that's his only option. Kenta Kobashi returns the favor, though. Catches his breath. Nice chop there from Kobashi. Stevie Richards doing everything he can desperately to stop Kobashi in the onslaught of the former GHC champion. Beautiful series of chops here. Kobashi takes over. Okay, but for real, have why all ever heard Stevie Richards talk though? No, I've never heard him talk. And I feel like it's gonna be a I'm gonna have him on the goofball stream and gonna get him I'm gonna have a video of him talking. Or I'm gonna call Stevie Richards, I'm gonna become his friend. I'm gonna reach out to Stevie Richards and see if he will he would be involved in the Goofball Cup as the former captain of the guys. Known for his crippler cross face finish. Nice kick there from the crippler Stevie Richards. Kenta Kobashi throwing chops as Kobashi does. Former New Japan Junior Heavyweight Champion, Stevie Richards. The Rabbit Wolverine, Stevie Richards. Brings him right to the goose block. Kenta Kobashi knows the threat that he presents. Beautiful Larry. I hear Stevie Richards has an enclosed pool. Super kick! Only one, though. Low blow from Stevie Richards. Oh, he knows that that's what he's got to do to defeat Kenta Kobashi. Jawbreaker. Come on, oh. Mr. White Sox. Soften him up for me, Kobashi. Only a two. Oh, 
doing some of the heavy lifting for uh, the stiff biscuit. You're right there. One, two, down! Stevie Richards proving himself to be a threat to Kenta Kobashi and also to the Gonzo Club. Beautiful chop there, spinning back fist. Kenta Kobashi back in control after a short bout of control from Stevie Richards. Stevie got the moves though. Fantastic brain buster, Kenta Kobashi. That one's gonna be out of the ring. Into the corner. Stevie Richards with the super kick again. Back to the groove spot as we approach 15 minutes. Half their allotted time about to be gone. Chop takes down Stevie Richards. Super kick. Beautiful back suplex there from Stevie Richards. Trying to take out Captain Kobashi. Trying to save the day for the guys. But that brain buster. That brain buster. How much more can Stevie Richards take? The crippler might be crippled. Into the corner. Into the corner again. One, two. Oh, Stevie Richards just about put away Kenta Kobashi. The winner of the Gonzo Invitational Tournament. Two, three. Why has this slapped? Stevie Richards with a last minute win for the guys in what can only be described as an upset. Wayment. Three and one. Gonzo Club. What the fuck? Over. Damn Stevie. The guys. But that what? is the victory you will remember. The Virgin Mary now defending Stevie. her goofball championship against Scott Steiner. The returning Scott Steiner. We haven't seen him since Goofball Cup 1. The inaugural Goofball Cup. Right. Back on the side of the lesbian protectors. Eats a couple arrows early on. Hopefully he's been studying tape. Undertaker losing his street face intensifies. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that feels, actually. That was, uh... Stevie Richards! My Over favorite wrestler, Scoot Breaker. In a, in a clean finish! I, uh... I don't got the words, man. Damn, look at... That squat? He ate too many arrows. He got way too cocky. Championship defense for the Virgin Mary. That means your champions going into next week. Rucker Gang. Virgin Mary. Dusty Rhodes of the Rucker Gang. Stitch of the Rucker Gang. And Chris Hero Holy of Sensei Del Stojo. Rucker Gang defends their belts against the Funky Friends next Emphasis week. Emphasis on Holy. Chris Hero will defend his belt against Enchanter's Disciples. Just as soon as Mary came, she the left. Rock. The Scott Rock walked up and said in bulletproof. Um, what a night we've had here in the very first uh, night of our of Goofball Cup 5. Um, is that damn. 4 for... Uh... Oh, damn. A clean sweep over the lesbian protectors Arrive. for Rucker Gang. Shoot. I didn't even Submit. realize that. Leave. Bob Ross and CM Punk going at it in our second last match of the night. The co-main event. And Bob, then... please give him a happy little ass whooping so we don't walk away with only one win. Gotta tie it up here. Funky friends need this win. 
Sensei Del Stojo currently has advantage. Can the Funky Friends tie it up? Or will Sensei Del Stojo take home a win? Beautiful back suplex there. Nice kick there from Punk. That two minute 34 second timestamp on uh, on that Scott Steiner and Virgin Mary match was incredibly unexpected. Beautiful exchange, Bob Ross gets the upper hand. Light tube now. I can't say anything bad about Bob because legally he is my superior officer. You can never say anything bad about Bob because he is the wholesome painter. He's a superior officer of Bob Ross. Of Bob, Bob Ross is a superior officer of Earth. Only a one count. Punk is deaf over dojo student. You know he's gonna dick punch. You know he's got those dick punches ready. Bob Ross breaking those fingers. Punk rocking the exposed thighs this evening. Beautiful brain buster from Bob. Happy little brain buster. Happy little brain damage. Dick kicking Dojo Punk. The Honorable Bob Ross. Pepsi Twist, one, only one. Bob Ross is in this. The resilience of Bob Ross really showing up here. Beautiful! Happy little brain buster! Onto the happy little hammer! Yeah! Happy little cold breaker! Bob is a beast, but I like don't think brush. he knows how to actually win the match. Oh, he pinned. He can pin now. Finger breaking Bob! What a dick kick from Punk! Go, Bob. Beautiful I think he has Bob pinned Ross. a total of two times in his goofball career. Come on, Bob Ross. Approaching 15 minutes. Headbutt from Ross, using the power of the Afro. Low blow from Punk! The dick kicking dojo continues, but Bob Ross returns the favor. Suplex there from Punk. D foot DDT. And go to sleep! He's sleeping! Bob's sleeping! Sensei Bill's Dojo. Three. One. And that leaves our main event, friends. Our very main event of the night. Incredible first show. Put him down for a happy little nap. The only thing I know is pain. 
really rough show for the first, uh, the first night. This action will friends. have consequences. Steve Austin takes on The Rock. Currently, Stiff Biscuit is up 2-1 to one over Enchanter's Disciples. The Rock faces Chris Hero next week for the Velma and Slugger Championship. Can he prove that he deserves that shot? Or will Steve Austin prove that he's going to be a major player? And that Stiff Biscuit is a team to be feared. Main event, baby, get hype. Come on, Rocky. Rucker Gang in the tournament and season play now. Everything barring the Goof Bowl. Completely undefeated so far. Don't let that escape you. It took Rucker Gang to defeat Rucker Gang last night. You should fear Rucker Gang. They go head-to-head -head with the Funky Friends next week. Couple Thaz Press. Back and forth. Incredible main event for our first week of Goofball Cup 5. A pile driver from Steve Austin. One, two, not enough. Both men are bleeding now. Into the single leg crab from Rocky Johnson. Big slam there. Got him in the sleeper. Take down. Got him in that sleeper hold. Is that enough? No, can't put away the rock yet. Steve Austin looking for he revenge. He just needs to slap on the sharpshooter once. Got him in that sleeper hold again. Really tiring him out. Lucha Steve, your senior official. Keeping an eye on the action. Another Thez press. He hits him with that elbow drop. Big spine buster there. DDT from the rock. One? Only one. Atomic drop. Larry to the back of the head. Beautiful move. Steve Austin lands on the chair. Nice flurry of knees from Steve Austin. Back suplex to the rock. Approaching the 10 minute mark. Russian leg sweep from the rock. Easy back and forth. Atomic drop to Steve Austin. Neck breaker there from Steve. Texas rattlesnake with another neck breaker. Elbow there from Rock. Hollywood's highest paid actor, Dwayne Johnson. Stunner! Stunner! One, two, three! Oh no! I thought that was it. Stiff Biscuit, I thought they took the win. Enchanter's Disciples on thin ice. Steve Austin! Uppercut there from Steve. Into the corner. Flurry of punches. The Rock takes down Steve Austin. He looks like he's getting ready to strike. DDT! DDT! Uppercut there from Steve. Another one. A couple more! He takes down The Rock. With a flurry of blows of his own. And a neck breaker again. He missed with that lariat because he ducked. Just swinging neck breaker The Rock's. Just about 15 minutes gone now. Half there a lot of time. He's gonna do it. This is the people's elbow. But he, he didn't do it. Steve Austin gets up. He gets him with the Thez press. Lariat there from Steve Austin. Off the ropes. The Rock hits him with a big belly belly suplex. 
Overhead belly to belly. Standing suplex. Rock tells him, bring it. Flurry of punches from The Rock takes down Steve again. Back and forth, Steve Austin measuring his opponent. A lariat to the back of the head. Cheech watching intently. Couple uppercuts. Another couple uppercuts. What a main event. Another flurry of strikes. Beautiful spine buster. Will The Rock do it this what time? A match. No, Steve Austin gets up again. Rock does not do it. Takes too much time posing. Big Samoan drop. Back and forth. Steve Austin with the upper hand. But The Rock comes up with the lariat. Another huge move. Samoan drop wearing out Steve Austin. Stiff Biscuit looking to take the win where Enchanter's Disciples are looking to draw. Rock takes on Chris Hero next week. Steve Austin is going to take on Green Kane. One, two, not enough to put away the rock. Des Press. Running elbow again. Suplex into the bombs with Steve Austin. Late in the match, you know that that's a detrimental move. Nice elbow to the back of the head. Double Stunner! Stunner! Baby. He's in the ropes, so he didn't take him out of the ropes. Another Thez press from Steve. Another running elbow drop. But the rock bottom! The rock bottom! The rock bottom! And he's going to hit him with the people's elbow! One, two, three! Enchanter's Disciples tie! The rock will face Chris Hero. One win. Zero losses. Incredible Jesus. main event. Thank you so much for tuning in to the first week of Goofball Cup 5. That, that was the match of the night right there. No doubt in well my Well earned, mind. brother. Excellent main. And a huge draw for Stiff Biscuit and Enchanter's Disciples who go two and two. Incredible Funky main friends event and Sensei Dilf's Dojo. Sensei Dilf's Dojo wins three to one. Rucker Gang went four and O oh over the Lesbian Protectors. Gonzo Club, three and one over the guys. And the Strawberry Crusaders went four and O oh in their debut over Larry Winters. Thank you so much for joining me. I am the good doctor. Stay tuned on Twitter for the times and the announcements and all the matchups for Gonzo Club versus the Strawberry Crusaders, Stiff Biscuit versus the guys, Sensei Dils Dojo that versus the Chandler's Disciples, problems. Funky Friends versus Rucker Gang, and Larry Winters versus Lesbian Protectors. I will see you all next week. <laughs>